तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीम तत्ता Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Padma. On this channel I share with you the practice and philosophy of body-led spiritual inquiry. I'm inspired by ancient traditions from my culture which is India, especially those which focus on nature and the divine feminine or goddess philosophies. In this video I want to share with you a beautiful and simple practice of flow, which is through the invocation of water. Uh, the energy of water the movement of water in our body the deity of water is varuna and varuna is the uh, deity of the great waters of the oceans and of course these waters also are symbolic of consciousness of the flow of consciousness and the flow of reality so what is proposed in this practice is that sometimes we have these strongholds that uh, we lock ourselves into there may be things that we believe in there may be things that we like or we don't like there may be uh, certain uh, things that we have learned or have we've inherited but they lock us in the known we find ourselves sometimes really trapped or stuck and what is happening then is that we are not in the energy of flow in that movement of flow and so varuna is the deity that unleashes that flow it's like you remove the dam on a river and you just unleash that flow of that river so let me share this movement with you and it's a beautiful movement to do at times where you feel um there's so much noise and uh things that are working not working you like you don't like what you believe in you don't believe in and you feel this stuckness you feel like you are uh stuck in a stronghold or a fortress and there is no breath or movement or life because really movement is life and this is a very simple practice and an invocation for those times so please join me in this practice so we're going to start with the the hands the arms and so that we can then allow this to help us with the lower body so the arms the the wave that rises the wave that rises we are the wave that rises and then it flows along the ground it rises again crashes in back into the ocean flows and there is this infinite rise fall flow rise fall flow so let's do that with we're going to add our lower body we drop in drop our weight into the earth which is all, always that connection with the earth we have in this practice really feel as if you're plugging your hips into the earth making those hips heavy and then we take those legs along the ground we don't come up it's it's like you take your weight along the ground and crash down move that weight along the ground so let's try this again it's really important to feel the momentum of that weight along the ground so if you really connect in to that weight and you move the weight along the ground you'll feel this push coming it's like the surge of water behind you so it's not like you're doing all the work but you're connecting to that weight momentum gravity and there is it's you'll feel like the ocean is just kind of rolling you along so let's try this one more time down so drop down so it's not just bending the body but dropping down and then move that weight and i'm going to finish this with a little prayer to varuna so after you do this movement and this invocation you can also then allow yourself to see how that flow then moves you around the the space you have what else comes out of that movement but try and remember at all times to stay connected to that weight and that momentum because that's what really changes 
and transforms that sensation rather than a top-down mind-led sensation. And join me in this little invocation or prayer to Varuna. So when we've invoked to Varuna, we say, please see us. So feel that when you are in the waters, the waters along your body, please see us. So Varuna, the water, please see us with your Shivam eyes. Shivam is pure, without any judgment, with complete openness and generosity. So may the waters see us as it flows over us. May it see us with the eyes of Shivam, the Shivam eyes. May it look into our eyes and render our eyes also of that same quality of Shivam, of pure, without judgment, with generosity, with spaciousness. And may your Shivam body, may your Shivam, the body of water, touch my body, encounter my body with that same Shivam, that same purity, without judgment, with openness, with generosity. So once more, may your Shivam eyes render my eyes, look into my eyes and render it Shivam. May your Shivam body encounter my body and render it Shivam. I hope that you will enjoy this practice and enjoyment is really the gift of a dance or a body-led spiritual inquiry. It's always about finding that enjoyment in the practice, the beauty and the enjoyment of that movement and enjoying the practice. And that is all that is needed. The intelligence will come to you and it will always be non-linear. So that is something to be attentive to. It will never be something that is directly connected to what happened before. It will be something that is totally tangential or non-linear. And so that asks our very subtle and generous attention as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I always enjoy your company. I always enjoy sharing these practices with you. And I look forward to your company next week.